Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rooster Cogburn here, bringing you my first impressions and a little bit of background information on the recent released game, Battlefield 3. Let me start by saying this. The game is awesome. Not only is the combat completely amazing, but the air combat is just astonishing. Uh, for example, flying a jet and gunning down choppers and giving all you got, beating down AA turrets. Ah, oh, positively amazing. I I've never gone such I've never gone on such a crazy rant on a game in my entire life. Simple as that. And that's just my description of the multiplayer experience. But before I drag on this rant, I suppose I must give a little bit of, you know, background information upon the game itself. Uh, obviously, the game is BF3. It was developed under one of the many divisions of EA and was published by Electronic Arts. Uh, it's available on 360, PS3, PC, and believe it or not, iOS platforms. Uh, so once again, pretty standard, all the platforms except for Wii. Boo-hoo for them. Uh, but personally, I believe that Xbox gamers have an edge with the launch system of Battlefield. The launch system for PC can get irritating as chasing a chicken around its pen while wearing roller skates. I'm making the inference that people on Xbox basically have a game menu in-game for multiplayer and co-op and campaign in order to connect and other stuff of that nature. Uh, please, collect, please correct me if I'm wrong, just do so in a kind manner below in the comments section of this video. But as for the PC, the start menu is just the web page for Battlefield 3 with three, I suppose, uh, frame sets is the proper term. Uh, three are titled Multiplayer, Co-op, and Campaign. It, it just gets a little frustrating. I wish they would let you surf the server list like in Bad Company 2. But uh, as far as I know, you can't do that at this time. Uh, but it's not really that big a deal. I mean, I just had to come up with a con or two, you know? So, let's see. The price is around 60 bucks American. Uh, I'm guessing around 40 or 50 pounds, as well as 40 euros, maybe. I don't know. That's just my guess. I'm in the U.S. I can only find the $60 price, nothing else. Just me educated guesses, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but anyway, now that all that BS is clarified, let's talk about the game. All right, good. I'll go into depth a little bit on each mode and start with the campaign, obviously. Now, obviously, not a lot of people buy this type of game for its campaign. Those who do are few and far between. I think that people get it for uh, the multiplayer, but that's just my personal mind state. Anyway, the campaign sets in 2014 in dominantly the Middle East. A couple of select missions take place in places like Paris or New York or whatever, but dominantly in the Middle East. Uh, the campaign of Battlefield is pretty, uh, how do I say disappointing? Don't interpret what I said the wrong way and totally hate me forever. Put yourself in the dev's shoes. Stats show that people buy real-time war games for multiplayer modes unremarkably dominant over those who buy for campaign and other modes. Obviously, they're going to put more time and effort into multiplayer purpose and just kind of wing the campaign for as little as they possibly can. That's how business works. But anyway, on to the co-op mode. Now, the co-op isn't very interesting, unless you're playing over the internet, because there isn't a split screen from my understanding. Uh, the co-op isn't really that entertaining. It gets pretty old pretty fast. There's really not that much to do in it. Seems like they kind of just threw it together as well, like the campaign. Uh, but onto the amazing stuff, as if I haven't gone on a totally annoying rant already about it. Let's get into a little more detail on the multiplayer, shall we? Uh, as far as classes are concerned, they're pretty standard. You've got Assault, Support, Engineer, and Recon. There is no Medic class this time around because Assault is kind of uh, half Assault, half Medic. Uh, you can deploy to Health Kits and carry Defibs, but also run around with Assault Rifles, Weapons, and Assault Perks. Uh, the game modes are pretty standard as well. Once again, you have Conquest, Rush, Squad Deathmatch, Squad Rush, and believe it or not though, Team Deathmatch. That's freaking awesome. Pretty big and awesome, amazing deal. They have Battlefield has not had a TD mode since its premiere release of Battlefield 1942 back in 2002. So I'm loving the Team Deathmatch. It's awesome. Uh, the weapons and vehicles, as far as I'm concerned, show very, very great variety. You can go from a damn buggy slash SUV thing to a uh, to a fighter chopper or a jet. That's pretty great variety. <laughs> uh, now I will have to confess, I did 
I am one of those people who bought this game solely because of the amazing multiplayer. You probably should be able to tell that because I really didn't give a lot of information on the campaign or the co-op, but I've gotten a lot and said a lot about the multiplayer. But, I, I don't know, I bought this game solely because of the multiplayer. Battlefield as a whole has never really shown great campaign quality, but in their defense, like once again, like I stated earlier, not a lot of people put effort into real-time FPS campaigns like that. Multiplayer is generally the basis of purchase among consumers, myself included. Um, to close it out, I gave Battlefield a 9 out of 10 rating. I deducted a point because the campaign and co-op were pretty disappointing and old, I suppose, and repetitive. Obviously, I think EA did a great job, and as much as I hate Origin, I am more than happy to hop on and play this freaking awesome game. Multiplayer, of course. Uh, well, everyone, I hope my first impressions and all the other off-topic crap I talked about today were very helpful to you. Please leave feedback in the comment section, whether it be negative or positive, and have a great day, and hopefully come to subscribe to us at MTMS Gaming.